Alas, poor X-Men. I knew them, Horatio. A team of infinite jest, of most excellent fancy. That's right, friends. It's your main man, Z, here from Our Views Will Kill You, and I am here to talk a little bit about the X-Men, or perhaps the Mutants. We'll see. I mean, I feel personally that the X-Men would be more inclusive if they added such team members as Jean Grey, Storm, Rogue, Emma Frost, Raven, Kitty Pride. X-23, Magic, Jubilation Lee, Polaris, Wanda Maximoff, Dazzler, Lady Deathstroke, Callisto, Wolfsbane. I mean, if they added all of those and maybe a couple more, you may have a truly inclusive X-Men team. But since you didn't do that, we're going to make some changes here. Oh, friends. <laughs> I don't have proof that this is real, though. This is just some fan outrage. But I, we do have a little tiny bit of evidence that we could talk about. Because clearly, what we have here is a rumor. Now, this has been hitting the, hitting the archives or hit, hitting the airwaves, and people have been talking about it. This is from CBR.com. And uh, an old rumor that Marvel Studios is changing the name of the X-Men has gained traction ahead of Comic-Con. The fans are in an uproar. I mean, just why bother? If, if you're going to do it, just why bother? There's a lot of really weird mutants going on. but Or mutants. <laughs> a lot of weird rumors going on about Marvel. And look, this is coming from the guy who has watched every single minute of every single garbage piece of crap that Marvel's been putting out, which I will link above, and you can catch for yourself all my my rants. I literally just finished Miss Marvel, and guess what? Spoiler alert: she's the very first mutant that we are aware of. Yay! Because not only is she half Jin, but she's half mutant. And what they're saying is there's a rumored title that the first X Men movie will be called The Mutants. I can't tell you how, on how many ways that this is this is bad. Because this is bad for several reasons. It's bad because of branding. If you want to talk about having like A plus branding, and now I'm not going to say those X Men movies are the greatest movies that have ever been made. I am not a big fan of like the the X Men one, two, and three, and I know, Brett Ratner and all those other things. And I, I am not a fan of those movies, but I do understand why. I don't. I, I just don't know why they want to call it the like. What are you gonna call the team? It's Professor Xavier, and they're the X Men. You're just gonna call them the X, the X people, <laughs> the X Patriots. I, I like. I don't understand. What? <laughs> one of the other bad rumors that's going around is that the Marvels may be a musical, which would be <laughs> exceptionally stupid. I mean, you just can't have a two hundred million dollar budget and make it a musical. Like it's got the cats didn't do well in the in the streets or in the Bronx or whatever that not those don't do that well trust me on this Elvis didn't do that well let's not do it don't do it Marvel don't do it <laughs> so Twitter is off to the races the mutants is just a stupid title yup you could say that like that just seems like a bad idea friends bad friends Deadline seemingly confirms that the X-Men reboot movie will be called The Mutants. <laughs> no one's going to know what you're talking about when you make these movies. You need normies to go to them, and the normal people who don't read comic books are not going to know this. New mu <laughs> This is a good one for Twitter. The Mutants? Is it The New Mutants? Didn't this movie bomb already? <laughs> This is bad. This is bad. Now, the rumor's not new, and it dates back to March 2021, but they just said it in the end of Miss Marvel. They just said that she's a mutant, and it would make a lot of sense for them to do this. We know that Marvel is not... They're waking up in the morning, and they're saying, 
hey, let's make a change, you know? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's not the movie that they're going to change to the mutants. They're going to change the... Uh, maybe they're going to change the reboot of the cartoon to the, to the mutants. The mutants. You know, old man yells a cloud. It's not... <laughs> People don't seem to understand what branding is. You have like 40 or 50 years. I, I don't know when the X-Men came out, but you're at least thinking like you're trying to tap into that 90s crowd that really loved that 90s X-Men cartoon. So you're talking 30 years at least there, plus whatever you had before that. That's a brand that people are pretty excited about. But when you don't do that, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> there is some foundation for this comment or for this idea as well. Uh, Victoria Alonso, Marvel's executive vice president of production. I don't know where the future is going after regaining the X-Men film rights as part of Disney's acquisition of Fox. It's funny that people call it the X-Men. There's a lot of female superheroes in that X-Men group, so I think it's outdated. It's Charles, it's, they're named after Charles Xavier, and I they're not called the Mutants. Because there's like the brother. Okay, you gonna change that too? The brotherhood of evil mutants. There's a change of the sisterhood of the traveling pants. Why not? Traveling mutants. It's all good. I. <laughs> yeah. Not to mention when they did the Miss Marvel finale reveal, they played the theme from X Men the animated series. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna rant. I promise. I'm not gonna do this. I'm not falling for this. I am not falling for this. This may be just a bad rumor. What do you think? Do you think it's real? Are we going to get upset over no reason? I'm not upset. I'm not upset at all. I just came on to tell a couple jokes. That's all I did. What, what do you think? Is this an old man yelling a cloud incident? Or is it real? And then will people be like, Whoa, there's this new movie called The Mutants. But wait, I remember there was New Mutants. And The New Mutants was not that good. I didn't like it very much. It's it's definitely going to hurt the branding. So, it's like calling M&M's. Like, you know what? We don't like M&M's anymore. We're going to call them you and you's. And you's is going to like them. <laughs> so we, good luck. Good freaking luck. <laughs> if this is what you're going to do. Ay, 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 ay. All right. I cannot handle any more of this nonsense, but... Be sure to catch us on Instagram, orc underscore you, O-R-K underscore you. Catch us, uh, like, and subscribe. That helps us out greatly. Really do appreciate it. If you like what we do here, we have a full-length audio podcast. You can catch us on iTunes, Stitcher, Spotify, all those other great places. It is free for you. But as for me, I am on Paul Yorick. Poor X-Men. I knew these so well. I'm on to the next one. Say goodbye, X-Men. Bye-bye.